Hi guys, uh, today we are going to be talking about the composite function and we are going to spread the topic across uh, three short videos. So let's go ahead and do this. So the composite function reads f funny symbol g of x. So that funny symbol is read as of. So this will read, uh, this is read as f of g of x. I'm going to go ahead copy it. So I'm not going to do anything new. It's just, uh, I don't really like pointing at things. Now, when I see this problem, to me, this, is, this doesn't give me like a, a sense of what I'm supposed to do. So I'm always going to write it without the symbol. So the symbol for the composite function is um, it's just a small circle, not to be confused with the raised dot. Because if it was a raised dot, we would have filled it in. So we are going to write this uh, without the small circle. So we have this function. And then we read this as of, so f of g, but we're, we're going to write an open parenthesis instead. So f of this next function, f of g, the parentheses of, f of g of this bad boy. So f of g of x, we got two open parentheses, so let's go ahead and do two close parentheses. So whenever I'm being asked this problem, and it will definitely pop up on the midterm, the first thing I do, I write it like this. Like um, it's easier for me to rewrite. Okay. So uh, the the gist of the of function composition is pretty much uh, we want to substitute one function into another function, and whatever that is, that will be the composite function. That's a lot of words. So I'm hoping to uh, better illustrate that uh, with with uh, with this fun problem. Something that you want to uh, bear in mind is this, whatever the outcome of this, whatever the outcome of this is, whatever the outcome of f of g of x, we always have to respect the domain of that inside function, okay? So let's go ahead and knock out uh, fun problem one. So it's only one problem, don't worry. So it says let f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x cubed plus 2x plus 4. We want to find f of g of x, then we want to find g of f of x, and then we want to uh, spit out the domain. So let's go ahead and uh, write down the first problem. So we have f of g of x. Uh, this is a lot for me to uh, accept, sorry for the big space. Uh, so I'm going to rewrite it in a way that it's a little bit easier for me to digest. So we have this first, first function, so we have f of the second function. Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, begin to substitute function g into function f. So g of x, according to the problem, it's given by x cubed plus 2x plus 4. And then we're going to bring down the rest of the problem. So what this boils down to is this. F of g of x is, uh, gives us f of uh, whatever that second whatever that second function was, which is x cubed plus 2x plus 4. And before I get a little bit more excited, uh, bear in mind that the domain of the of the composite function has to respect the domain of that inside function. So what is the domain of this inside function? So we have g of x equals x cubed plus 2x plus 4. So this is a polynomial. You know, we don't have a, a radical or, or a rational expression. So the domain is given by the set of all real numbers. So it's all always nice. I'm using the number symbol because I'm not submitting this for credit. If I was submitting it for credit, then I would spell it out or put it in interval notation. So now uh, coming to the problem, f of g of x, let's do this. So that will give us f of function g of x. I'm going to take a quick break. Well, not an actual break, but I need a visual break. So I want to remind myself what is function f. So we f of x, according to the problem, is x squared. And whenever I whenever I'm gonna substitute something, you know, for the input, uh, it's it's really difficult for me to just go up and down, toggle up and down. So I like to write down the function that I'm gonna plug into first. Then with confidence, let's go ahead and write down our problem. Okay. So we want to find f of x cubed plus 2x plus 4. So what we are gonna do, we are gonna substitute a x cubed plus 2x plus 4 for the input of x. So wherever we see an x, we're going to replace it with that. So that will give us uh, x, which we're swapping out for this three term expression, x cubed plus 2x plus 4. And then we are going to square it. So the moral of the story is that f of g of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x plus 4. 
and then we're gonna square it so the question is um shouldn't we expand this um uh, we could but it's okay i'll give you full credit if you leave it like that now the question is what is the domain so the domain of the inside function is a set of all real numbers so good uh the domain um this is a polynomial if we square it's still a polynomial so the domain is also going to be the set of all real numbers and the set of all real numbers is given from uh, inter interval notation is given by the interval from negative to positive infinity um, you can um, you can quickly graph it you know we have a number line we graph everything and then with confidence we're like oh yeah that's how we write uh, the set of all real numbers in interval notation so we are done with the first problem let's go ahead and knock out the second problem so we want to find g of f of x so when I see a problem presented in this form, I immediately write it without the without the symbol for it. So we have the first function, g, of the second function of f, and f is a function of x. So we want to write g in terms of function f. So remember, we have to respect the domain of the original function. And the domain of the original function, where am I? So this is a uh, function f is a polynomial function. You know, we don't have radicals, so it's not a rational expression. So the domain is given by the set of all real numbers for function f or the inside function. Okay, that's nice. So let's go ahead. Um, begin uh, the substitution process let's go ahead substitute f of x you know into the other function so according to the problem f of x where am i f of x equals x squared and now we just have to substitute x squared for the input i'm really get bad about plugging in things so with your permission we're gonna uh, take a small break we're gonna write uh, a visual break we're gonna write function g and then we're gonna write back this uh, statement so we have g of x equals where am i g of x equals you can't see it so you're just gonna have to trust me so g of x equals x cubed plus 2x plus 4 i didn't make this up it came from the problem then with confidence I'm going to write down what we were trying to find. We were trying to find g of x squared. So to do that, we are going to substitute an x squared for the input of x. So wherever we see an x, we're going to swap it out for x squared. So that will give us x, which we're swapping out for x squared. What are we doing to that x squared? We're going to cube it and then plus 2 times x, which we're swapping out for x squared. And then we bring down the rest of the expression. The cube of x squared gives us x to the 6. If we need a gentle reminder, remember the power rule. So power rules, if you're raising powers, you're going to keep the base and multiply the exponents. Okay, this paper is in my way. Sorry. Cool. All right, we keep, we, we keep bringing the problem down. Sorry for the stuttering. So that will give us 2x squared plus 4. And we nailed it. So the moral of the story is that g of f of x, or you can just write it like this, will give us x to the 6 plus 2x squared plus 4. So before we, we list uh, the domain of our outcome of the composite function, we need, we need to remember to respect the domain of the inside function, which we're thankful that it was the set of all real numbers. Uh, this is a polynomial. You know, we don't have radicals or a rational expression. So the domain is also given by the set of all real numbers. So um, the reason why I asked you to find the composite function of forwards and backwards is this. I wanted to highlight that uh, we don't necessarily get the same answer. You know, if we were to square this three-term expression, yeah, that would not give us this. Okay, guys. Thanks.